Hello you guys, it's right now it's after 8 p.m. My alarm should go off anytime. I just put our dinner in the microwave and I'm gonna put out Mia's and allow it to cool. And we're gonna put it on the top of her thing. So as it turns out, I'm meeting with the new nanny tomorrow. Um, so that should be good. We exchange numbers and you know, she texted me, I texted her back. She texted me a picture of her passport and of her ID. So that's good, so we're gonna meet tomorrow and go over a few things. After which Mia and I are gonna go on a walk. So I wanna kinda set out everything because tomorrow we're set to meet at 11. So I kind of want to set a few things out. So we're gonna do this. And then I'm going to take a little blouse for Mia. Just in case it gets hot, we can change from the sweatshirt to just a blouse with the pants. So that's what she's going to wear tomorrow. And of course, her Crocs. Where are her socks? I literally just had it here. And her socks. I already have her sunscreen and the bag and everything ready to go. But it looks like the days are going to be hot because today I was still trying to go. And if the days are going to be hot, I'm better off <coughs> taking a walk early. We have a few glasses too. We'll take, we'll take a pair or two for Mia. This one, my friends bought when we went to the beach the other day. So we'll do one of those. I want this really go, but like whatever. It's not that serious. But on yeah. Her little necklace, I took it off because she's always tugging it like this. So like the sides of her neck are like... A little bit scratchy because she's uh, or she always has it in her mouth it's not conducive right now so that's gonna have to wait until like she's a little bit older not fascinated with it and doesn't touch it because before she didn't know that it was there and didn't touch it but once she discovered that it's there and she starts touching it it's done yeah. mom the food is in the microwave we're gonna go take care of that hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'm just getting home it's 10 a.m. I had to do a mandatory training at my job to be a basically telemetry monitor and it was all right. This is my third time sitting the class and my second time attempting the test. I did pass the test this time. I actually did study but um, I don't leave there until like 9 a.m. but I'm home now but I stopped by the grocery store really quickly because I needed to re-up on a few staples so I got some pasta macaroni three packs i got some fruits mia loves fruits i got some blackberries she loves blackberries raspberries and blueberries i got some pears we're gonna try her with these i've tried her with other pears before banana she's had banana before avocado staple and i got some ripe plantains she loves ripe plantains i also got pumpkin love pumpkin it's called something else hair and I got some little mandarins. She loves mandarins, oranges, halos, all of those. I got her two things of cereal. She still gets cereal. I got her this grain and grow um, oatmeal cereal. And I got her this probiotic oatmeal banana cereal. So we're going to try those and see. Because the ones that I had are definitely done. And I bought some sardines because she also loves sardines. I already had sardine in here. I already went through the process of not this being stuck to my computer. Preparing her lunch because I think she already had breakfast with her dad. Um, we have some raspberries, we have some blueberries, and we have some um, blackberries. And I'm gonna give her like some little baby crackers with that. Or maybe I'll give her some of the oranges. I'm gonna pack those out on the table right now.
Hello y'all, welcome back. I'm in the kitchen this morning, but um, typically this is how my mornings start with coming home and like trying to get breakfast started for the baby because typically shortly after I get home, she's normally awake. So I'm making what I consider some fritters, um, some raisin fritters, I really do like raisin. I have some fruits prepped for her breakfast. And then I'm probably gonna give her like a piece of a fritter and the rest of the fritters are gonna be for lunch. I think I wanna take a walk today, I'm not really sure. I said I was gonna see if I'm gonna pick up a shit today, I'm not really sure. Because these days I've been trying to really enjoy my days off and like bask in the day off and let it be a day off and spend time with my baby and stuff like that, you know. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna do it because I am calling today Sunday because I have to go somewhere Sunday because also asked my manager to give me the day as a holiday and she didn't so you know but um yeah because i am also trying to do something with my life other than just work 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 all the time so yeah that is what we're doing the morning is off to a really good start what i have on the plate for the baby is pears and blueberries um i could give her some of this too she really likes these so we'll do one of this too and see if that holds her but I'm trying to hurry up so she doesn't wake up while I'm doing it. But if she does, I can give her this to start with. So, um, yeah. Hello, y'all. This is a little bit later. So, we've had breakfast. Um, Last night, I was at work and I was so very hungry. I did try to eat something before I left here. But you know how you have some food but you don't really feel like eating that. But you eat it anyways because that's what you have. That was my situation last night. So, when I was at work, I was hungry. So, I ended up buying a... um chicken and bacon ranch at subway and i had like a little more than half of that so whatever was left i brought it home and i had that with like two of the fritters you know i think every time they get they look like they're they're more like pancake than they are fritters yeah they are more like pancake actually what is that so um me and i ate but these days once she eats and she's like done she wants to get out of the high chair she is throwing a fit if you don't take her out of the high chair so i took her out and she's walking around making noise like you guys can hear she's walking in the living room as i talked about the living room i'm thinking she probably wants to watch miss rachel but i just remember that my mom told me that the remote fell behind the couch so i have to try to move the sectional to go get that remote and it might be a little bit difficult to move it because my mom has like, a few things in there i really want to go on a walk today so now that we've eaten, I was thinking maybe we could go in time for like Mia's little morning nap. I'm gonna get her ready and we're gonna see how that goes. She's gonna need some milk. For that morning nap, we could go while it's still cool. It's not like hot as balls outside. Maybe we don't have to go as far, but also I'll see what I can do. Considering the fact that today's my, gonna be my first day back in like however long, because the weather really had just not motivated me at all but we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do but um yeah you know last night i'm at work right there's this lady i don't like working with because she has like a slave driver mentality no matter how many things you've done already the moment she sees you sitting down to like take a break or whatever or just sitting down mainly because you're done she tries to find something else to give you to do but not only does she have like a slave driver mentality she has like a god complex she feels like she runs the place i don't even know if that's what a god complex is she feels like she runs the place and like she has some superiority over you and she should use that at every point. You must do what I say and that type of attitude. And last night I was working with her and initially when I went and I saw that I was in her district, I was pissed off because I'm like, well, I'm, I'm a little hungry. I'm not in a good mood. Tonight is not the night where I'm prepared mentally to work with her. Honestly, I'm never prepared any night mentally to work with her, but sometimes you have to. So I was pissed off. Then we got somebody, then they took her back, and then I ended up back in her district again. And I'm like, you know what, whatever. It might not be too bad. And it wasn't. Um, and I figured out how to successfully work with her without an issue. A lot of her patients, she's going to need finger sticks for them because she's a very good nurse. She's very thorough. She's a good teacher. She's a very good nurse. Can't take that away from her. But I, I, I realized that... All she needs is all the things for her patients and she'll be good. But I, all I need is for her to give me everything at the beginning of the shift when she's handing me her labels and I'm good. Give me the ones you need finger stick for, blood work, eyes and nose, you know, all of those things, weights, and I'm fine because I don't have to communicate with you again. With her patients, if the blood pressure is low, you got to do it two times and you got to let the patient sit up to do it because she's going to send you back to go do that or lie. 
and um you know if it's too high make sure you check it on both hands and you're fine you give her both readings and you're fine and i'm telling you that um when i was done last night and i and i was showing her the vitals and everything um i felt really good knowing that there was nothing that she could possibly send me back in there for because i figured out how to work with her and i made that work for me and so the shift was not as bad as i initially had anticipated so i'm grateful to have ended the shift on a high note especially considering the fact that i was working with her but like i said she's a good nurse it's not that she's not a good nurse um she's a little bit too <laughs> maybe she's too thorough but also i don't mind somebody being thorough but what i don't like is every time I'm sitting down here call me to do something else everything that you know that you're gonna want for your patients just tell me one time and i'll get it done you know because i'm not afraid of working but yeah Mia is currently walking around with a little piece of pear she's not dressed a little thin slice of pear from her breakfast in her hand i don't know if she's eating it or not but you know we're here finishing up the last of my coffee i'm gonna go take that remote control from behind the sectional and then i'm gonna get our little go on a walk bag ready i'm so excited too because i bought this other trinket for the stroller and now i'm able to like put my phone in it comfortably i'm like walk or whatever and i love it okay i'm gonna accessorize everything baby but that's where we're at right now oh no thank you honey hi no thank you that's dirty yeah should i braid it up her hair too because i feel like putting her hair in like two little pigtails or whatever before it was cute but now she takes everything out of it so i have it in this little um braided ponytail but also when i have it braided up like that we don't have to do it every day and manipulate her hair too much because when it comes to hair the less manipulation the better y'all know i'm a lazy natural and i'm not just saying that because i'm lazy but that's because it's true but right now so i feel like i'm at the point where i need to get her some baby products because she's about to be one when you guys watch this she's probably already gonna be one i need to get her some baby hair products to take care of her hair i don't even know if, if anything about the baby hair products are formulated for babies or formulated for growth i think baby's hair is gonna grow at its own pace when it's ready i don't think there's necessarily anything uh, uh, uh. come here anything you can do to stimulate growth because the back of her hair is currently not really grown up but her sister's hair was like that too thank you honey one thing about her i've had to make sure that i'm going through and like vacuuming cleaning and and and, and wiping the floors all the time because her dad sometimes wear his shoes in this little hallway here and this is mia's playground okay so last night i went through and i wiped the floor but you know i think this morning my mom may have like done her hair and because she did that it's like just a little glob of hair like a teeny tiny glob of hair on the floor and Mia already found that and is ready to eat it turn the sound machine off we gotta find something for her to wear i'm not currently dressed. 